Okay, so here's where your leak was, down in this corner. See, this is where we were standing outside there, looking up here. You were thinking about this here, but it's this there that was leaking. Now, when I moved that piece of metal there, and that siding, and I pulled it up and looked in there, the way he has the flashing cut on an angle, I could see all the wood behind it, number one. Okay, he didn't have the, the house wrap covering the top of the flashing either. So it was diving into that corner, all this water that comes down this whole side here was diving into that corner. Then I came on this side and I looked underneath from here. Okay, when you look underneath from there, now you can see all the stuff that I put there, but there was nothing in that corner, it was wide open. So the water was getting right into that corner and diving in, I guess because he couldn't get his hands in there to work. But, uh, you know, there's a smarter way to do it. So this piece of flashing that you see there, I put, I snuck that underneath there, that flat piece of flashing, underneath his original step flashing that you could see there. I slid it all the way up under there and covered that hole, and then I corked the bejesuses out of it with my urethane. That other thing that you see sticking up off the corner, coming down off the corner, is the other piece of flashing I stuck in above it so I could make the water go past the hole, you know? and shoot down over here instead of right into that corner and that's what this is here that's what that is there that's the bottom of my flashing there that i snuck underneath there and got it behind the flashing that's right here at the wall the other thing is is that the way they capped this you see that piece of metal there there was no return on it in other words in between the siding and this corner it was wide open so i i put a little piece of metal I cut a piece of metal put it in there to block it off and I sealed the bejesus out of it. All right. So now I think that you're going to be good for your rain. But what has to happen here is, and in the bigger picture, is all this roofing here comes apart down past that corner where I was showing you underneath. Okay. This roofing comes up also here. Just just three courses of roofing to get this corner exposed because then you take the plywood off of here and you reach down inside and now you could work and and wrap that flashing from underneath there where there's no room over to here that's what he should have did the first time you know before he put that roof on you this way you could reach your hand all the way down into here and work and then you put the soffit back in there you put the roof back on there and you trim it so all this trim has to come off too and that trim has to get redone all right at least up to here up to that one overlap right there you know, pull, pull that off and put a new piece of trim here because that has to get replaced, this has to get replaced there. Siding comes off of here, only a couple of panels, probably up to there really. Uh, and all of this roofing here and the caps. So this whole area from like here, all the way around here, gets exposed. Siding comes off, metal comes off, roofing comes off of here. Put your hand down inside there so we could work because you can't get underneath there to get anything up up underneath the wall in between the shingles you can't even nail the shingles so that's how he had it so now even though it looks like heck it should work but i could you know it's the best i can do what i'm dealing with because it's hard to get to step one you know from step eight so it's the first step that was done wrong and once that's wrong everything on top of it don't matter how pretty it is ain't gonna work so that's what we got here. <clears throat> I'll send you an estimate on everything else to do it right. Uh, but for now, I'm pretty confident that uh, your leak will stop. But let my office know. You'll get your estimate. Let my office know and uh, and uh, you and be in touch with me, okay? But that's that's the best I can do for you here today is uh, put a couple pieces of flashing in there, seal everything up, and get the water to stop going into that corner where it was leaking on you.